I don't talk about the AP. I don't check the AP. God is my witness. Friday, I tweeted out, I just looked at the AP in totality for the first time. Several of you called me a liar. I was not lying. I've looked at the AP when it's been like on a website or something like that, like breaking news, the AP's out, Texas is number one. I see the headline. I have not, all year, until late last week, looked at 1 through 25 on the AP. And then I did. And I just laughed out loud. I lulled. UCF's not ranked. I did not know that. I thought UCF was ranked. JP Poll has them 18th this week. The AP has them still unranked. They're, and it's not even that they're 26th or 27th. They're, aren't they like 36th or something, Jesse? They're not even close. You people are high. Drugs. Drug, the AP poll brought to you by drug use. 36th. No, that's wrong. It's not even a matter of opinion. It's just wrong. Oklahoma State, they dropped from 14th to 20th after their loss yesterday. They're still ranked, by the way. We didn't have them top 25 last week when they were undefeated. They shouldn't be top 25 this week. They're not a good football team. The preconceptions you had about them were wrong. I thought their offensive line would be really good too. They're not. We were wrong. Get rid of them. I thought their tailback and their running game would be really good. We're wrong. Get rid of them. They should not be in your top 25. Uh, the Arkansas game further misled you people because for all intents and purposes, in terms of predictability, in terms of, of win expectancy, they lost the game. They got credit for the win in the stat sheet as they should. But trying to figure out how good these teams are, I guess a lot of people got fooled by the Arkansas game. Uh, Oklahoma State still in the top 25. Kansas State dropped way too far. AP dropped them from 13 to 23. We had them 14th last week. We've, spoiler alert, we've still got them 14th this week. Now, we do do one modification for updated injury information on Monday. So these numbers could change very, very, very slightly. It's unlikely to change a whole lot. Unless Avery Johnson retires, that rating's not going to change a lot. They just had a total stink bomb of a game yesterday. Bad turnovers, very atypical for Kansas State. The, the penalties, the turnovers. And so I don't think they're any worse of a team. So we kept them right where they were. So, so the AP dropped them probably too far. 23rd's way too far down for Kansas State. Uh, Clemson, they've been all over the map with Clemson. We had them 11 last week. We've got them 11 again this week. The AP had them 21st. They're up to 17th now. There aren't 16 teams in the country better than Clemson. I, I don't think I need to say that out loud, but I have to say that out loud. And also, <clears throat> not to... Not to cast aspersions here, this is not just some East Coast bias thing. Because you know who else they don't have ranked? The AP does not have Rutgers ranked. Is Lance? Lance no longer works here, but I hope Lance is watching. Lance, this is for you, buddy. Rutgers is getting the shaft here. Our poor friends in Piscataway, New Jersey, they're not in the top 25 in the AP. They're not in the top 30 in the AP. They're not in the top 40. In the AP, we've got them 26th. Rutgers is a really good football team right now. We got them JP poll, 26th in the country. And the AP's like, don't exist. They don't exist. Why? They're Rutgers. Now, here's what's funny. If I were to give Oklahoma State Rutgers record so far and outcomes, they'd be probably top 10. Because no one, in the AP at least, enough of them, are willing to maneuver off of their default positions in the preseason. I'm as, I'm as steadfast about my preseason stances as anyone, but the difference is I'll sit here and tell you I value one week of football in the fall more than six months of magazine reading and camp and spring game watching. That stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't stack up. It only matters until you've got real football documented that you can watch. I don't really think these folks believe in that. Uh, Brigham Young? is not one of the 25 best teams in the country, and I've been on them every week. Jesse, have we not been dead on the money with BYU every week? There is not a team in the country that we have been more spot on with than Brigham Young. I'm telling you, they should be around 30 to 32. That's where they should be right now. And instead, nobody watched the Kansas State game yesterday. You just saw that they won big. You have no clue how it happened. 
And so now we got to put we got to put him up there, don't we? Plus, that's a cute little story. Okay. Well, I got him 32nd. You got him 22nd. Illinois. This is a roll of the dice. I don't have him ranked. Excuse me, power rated. You've got him ranked 19th. This is one I want to be wrong on. Just being honest with you, I do want Illinois to be good. So we've got them uh, like 30th or something like that. The AP's got them 19th. I want the AP to be right. You guys deserve one. I want the AP to be right. Illinois is going to Penn State this weekend. They are a 17-point underdog. This will be a really good case study. Here's what I think is probably going to happen. I think Illinois is probably going to go up there, be competitive, lose. The AP is going to drop them. I'll raise them if they're competitive, and we'll probably meet at 25. That's probably what will happen. 